and you not even had any background in account, no. you're totally different. No, and I did not go to any class. I was reading by myself. It's a bit I, about open-minded, open-mindedness yeah. there, uh, because I think students right now will just say, no, nope, this is my profession, this is where I'm stuck into. I don't know what would be your advice for that. You know, you've managed to just make sure you, that taking risks, I think that's what yes. I'm leading to, how you've managed to take risks across onto that different professions as well. You know that the thing for me is when you take a risk and you fail, you'll always have a fallback. Yeah. You can always go back to what you've been doing. So it's really just knowing that if you plunge yourself into that space, you, have, you could have two outcomes. You could be successful or you could fail and, you know, take the next action. So for me, I, like I said, when I moved to sales, the first year it was nothing. I mean, it's a lot of effort with no results. But you know, you push on and sometimes these risks take time to pay off. But it's only until you take them that they can, you know, then start to show some results. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about your current work. Country President Schneider Electric in East Africa. I mean, anyone would love to have that such a title. How does it make you feel? Um, you know, the title is amazing. <laughs> The job is hard. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's, it's uh, juggling so many balls. Yes. Um, so uh, Schneider Electric in mm -hmm. East Africa is a fairly young company. Mm -hmm. um, so Schneider Electric acquired a local company seven years ago. Uh, it was called Power Techniques. Mm -hmm. And Power Techniques had been a Schneider Electric partner for a long time, for more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, and so, of course, you know, for me, when, when Schneider Electric uh, approached me, to, to join them, um, they made it clear to me that, you know, this is a new acquisition. And I quickly saw an opportunity to be a part of a great story because it's almost like a startup from Schneider Electric terms. So I took the job about four years ago, um, moved into Schneider. I was eyeing the top seat. And so um, in two years that happened. And so I'm actually gonna be two years old in my country president role in August, at the end of August. Now, hold up. First of all, you come into <laughs> Schneider, you are in the top seat. Yes. How, was, were we into, did, that, did, that, did that not make you uncomfortable or was it make you a favorite of your boss? Or, because, you know, it's always a balance because, you know, there's some leaders, I would say, if they know you're a threat to them, they try and, you know, uh, hold up or maybe curtail your efforts to get to the top. How did you wiggle your way out of it? So, um, Schneider Electric is driving... Uh, a very sustainable strategy yeah. um, and so we consider ourselves as the most local of global companies so of course knowing this it was very clear that they were going to have a local person uh, as a leader uh, this strategy was happening and so my boss then was an expatriate and obviously he, he was on a certain time and his time was going to end so if they were going to be taking locals then who would be better placed to than myself so talk about what? Being strategic? Being smart? Yes. What would um, you say? What, what, what does that quality feel it's like? It's really just yeah. uh, identifying the opportunity mm -hmm. and positioning yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know, they usually say, you know, luck looks like preparation meeting the opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's really preparing yourself for the luck yeah. to happen. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I realized, by the way, uh, I was headhunted into Schneider. So just for you to, to know that. Yes, <laughs> and yes. um, I remember when, when, when we were having discussions, one of the fascinating um, comments the HR director then mentioned was, your profile is unique. Um, <laughs> how do you have all this? How do you have this finance experience, this sales experience? And obviously, also, I had an international experience. I had been working across sub saharan Africa. And, and I need to tell you about that, that experience of working in Sub-Saharan Africa mm -hmm. in a STEM field mm -hmm. uh, uh, as a woman. Mm -hmm. But let's, let's just come back to the yeah. Schneider story first. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, you know, the, the preparation and knowing that this position would open up just made that even when the experiences were not so great, I had to be patient and go through the pain mm -hmm. knowing that something would come. You know, we actually had a guest on the Headhunter um, actually last week, uh, Madam Catherine Musakani. She said, leadership is not given, it's taken. Yes. I feel that just really happened in that whole process of that two years of you waiting for your position. Yes, but I was busy doing something else and yeah. uh, also just consolidating my preparation. Uh, to be honest, uh, when I was appointed on the role, first of all, I was very scared. Yeah. Uh, this was a job I had never done before. This was 
my first real business leadership role. Um, but I was like, okay, this all these people believe I can do it. <laughs> How is it that it's only myself who doesn't? So I said, okay, let's step into it and get it done.